Welcome back to the Tech Stop. Today we're going to be doing an overview of this EVGA 400 watt power supply. This is going in a system which I am repairing right now which has a bad power supply unit and it is a little bit overkill for the system but I got such a great deal on it. I bought this unit for $25 and right now I think it goes for $35. I'm just going to show you what you can expect to find in the box and I've used several other EVGA power supplies mainly the 500 and 550 watt variants and this one does not have an 80 plus certification on it however I can say from my experience with them they've always been good units and I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can do a power supply calculation if you are building a computer and you want to see how much wattage your computer actually needs for all the parts let me go ahead and get a better view for unboxing alright so let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed first off we have um, the power supply screws which are down here they are black, so they are not the cheap silver ones that kind of stand out in the case. You have your basic 16 gauge power supply cable that comes with basically every power supply. I'm sure you have plenty of these. And for connectivity, it has a 8 pin for the CPU, and it has a 6 plus 8 for the GPU. Uh, the actual, the CPU is actually right here. It has a 20 plus 4 pin connector for the motherboard connectivity, SATA, Molex, and one connector for a floppy drive if anyone still has one of those. Um, you can actually tap into that connector for like fan power or things like that, however. The only sleeved cable is the 20 plus 4 pin connector, so all of the other cables will be shown. If you do not like this look, you can get a chassis that has the cage under the basement for the power supply and put extensions or your own sleeves on these cables, so no one would be able to tell anyway. Um, I know that Cable Mod has all the sleeves and extensions that look really good on the cables, but they can be a little bit pricey. Then you open up this door right here, and you have the unit itself. It comes wrapped in a bubble wrap for protection. And then you have your black EVGA power supply. It's 400 watts, like I said, and it has a pretty nice fan. This is the intake, and it exhausts through the back. It can be oriented with it down, pulling through a vent in the bottom of the case, which you do not want to do if you're on carpet. Or it can be oriented up, pulling air from the inside of the chassis. However, it will pull any, any of the hot air in the chassis into it, so it's not the best cooling solution. Um, overall, it is a good power supply, and like I said, I've used many of these power supplies in the past, mainly the 5 and the 600 and 550 watt variants, and they all seem to be doing pretty well now, even four or five years into use. So I definitely recommend this power supply, and it's going in that computer I'm repairing right now. If there's any problems in installation, I will come back and update you, but um, if you are looking for a 400 watt power supply for a pretty good price, EVGA is definitely the way to go. 